Meet Mike Zeller, a businessman that has generated over $300 million in sales and mentored high-level entrepreneurs globally. I've started uh, almost 20 different business ventures. I'm an author, speaker, neuro rewiring expert. Now I help a lot of high performing leaders around the world uh, rapidly heal trauma and PTSD. In this episode, Mike shares his journey from losing over $1 million in a year to becoming a master in peak performance psychology. Uh, it's like I had a gravel road between my heart and my brain. Now I have a four lane highway. Discover hidden techniques to double your neuroplasticity in just a few days, heal your childhood trauma rapidly, and unlocking your inner genius. So does everyone have a hidden genius in them? Yeah, I, th I think so. You also mentioned how to overcome common genius blockers and habits that sabotage your dreams. What are some of those? Limiting beliefs is a big one. Trauma is actually a massive one. I saw somewhere a client that said uh, he considers you as the most famous entrepreneur you, he's never heard of. What went through your mind when you heard that? Uh, uh, that I need to do more work on getting myself <laughs> known. <laughs> Join us for an inspiring and dynamic conversation filled with insights, laughter and wisdom as we explore what it truly means to become the best version of ourselves. Please welcome Mike Zeller. Ow. What do you think explains this um, skyrocketing numbers of depression and PTSD uh, in our society today? I mean, a, a big piece of it is definitely, you know, we got all isolated during the pandemic. Mm. So that was a piece. Um, I think time. we've also gotten, yeah. And, and then social media overstimulation. People are not disconnected and they're constantly comparing themselves so they don't get downtime because they're always connected and they're constantly comparing themselves to a fake reality of someone else you're so comparing someone's high to your low yeah yeah exactly so i think that's a big uh big piece of it as well yeah okay so you, you believe that if we made psilocybin mdma more accessible to the grand public it would yeah. solve a big big portion of the problem yeah yeah okay. exactly yeah mm. okay and you mentioned that mdma can help and as you said completely heal trauma how does that exactly work like mdma what it f does is it floods floods your your nervous system with serotonin um serotonin is a uh, neurotransmitter but mm. that also makes your body feel safe and so now your nervous system is flooded or blanketed with this feeling of safety and safety and love and empathy. And so in that, what happens is I can go in and you're literally your subconscious will bring to the surface memories or moments in time that were very overwhelming, scary, felt like oh, life is, is not worth living or I can't handle this or whatever. And in that moment, then we can go in and access those memories and literally change the meaning or the emotional attachment to that memory, which changes the meaning. So I can go in, like I, the client with the um, uh, thumper, the three-year-old, you know, three-year-old that <laughs> has her bunny rabbits. guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. It sounds yeah. funny, but it's yeah, it's but, a real yeah, thing for, for a three-year-old. It's awful. Yeah. Absolutely, I completely three, understand. You know, yeah, your your little love of this little tiny bunny dies, and it was with her father too. So guess what? Now she has a, a something against her father starting at three years old. Well, anyway, um, we go in and we she held that little three year old version of her, like you know, invited that three year old into her lap, loves on her gives her warmth and safety, lets her process those feelings. So the feelings that she was feeling that got frozen, you know, at that point, like 35 years ago, then she's holding that version of her to let that inner child heal. And that little three-year-old self let go of those emotions and the emotional weight. And guess what? Then you can literally see in her body where her body goes. <sighs> Just a big relief. Yeah. And her body was in a state of tension before, mm. right? And then we did two or three other memories after that. And and so she literally relaxes and her nervous system recalibrates as a result. Uh, another client where she um, she almost died giving childbirth 15 years ago. That and 
Oh, yeah. And then she got separated from her husband the same year. Plus, um, her brother died the same year who she was really close to. Well, mm-hmm. When I put, put my hand on her shoulder, um, when I first met her in February, I was like, oh, Lisa. She's a little five foot one, like short Asian lady. And I'm like, what happened to you? Like, are you a linebacker? Are you like a power lifter? Because Actually, her shoulders tense. were so yeah. tense. I was like, rock hard. I was like, good God, what happened? And she's like, oh, I had a lot of crazy shit happen in my life. <laughs> I was like, okay, tell me. And then she told me, almost dying, boom, 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 all these things. Well, we do the session. What happens? Again, flooded with a sense of safety. We could go back to those memories that she could not access. She could not visit because they were too overwhelming. Her body would just freak out, right? And we could access those, heal them by releasing the emotion, shifting the meaning. And then her nervous system, boom, relaxes. At the end of the session, end of the day, she's like, Mike, I feel the best I've ever felt in my whole life. And she starts bouncing around the room like I feel like a I feel like a boiled carrot. Because she's like, I feel loose and flexible in her body the first for the first time in her life. That That's incredible. Remember. That's incredible what you do, man. Oh, when thanks. you when you mention access, what do you mean? Do you like walk through it? Is it could you describe that for me? Yeah. Um, you know, if you want, I can guide you through an example of it right now. We can Please? see what we can access in Jared's. Okay. Mike proceeded to walk me through one of his short six-minute sessions. How was that? <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Thank you, it's pretty little session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just did like a little six-minute version of, of mm. the process that I might do. For some people, I might go through a bunch of memories. Like we might go through five different memories, release them, right, that have been showing up and sabotaging their higher self. And then we'll connect with your higher version. Like then at the end, I'll go guide people to find that higher level version of themselves. Mm. Um, and let that version of you drive the vehicle, drive the car of your life. And then we'll make that version bigger and bigger in your life. So that's my claim your power NLP process, which um, I have a whole YouTube video on it, on that that you can do too. It's 33 minutes and you do the whole, you can go through the whole experience. Um, on that one YouTube video, and it's a really powerful meditation. I'll so. link it. Yeah, thank you. It, it yeah. felt like in um, the movie um, Inception, yeah. the way it's just accessing the. Yeah, thank you for that. So yeah, let me let me mention there. So like, with some of the lighter work, hmm. like those traumas weren't too overwhelming for you, or those memories, hmm. but you had them there, and they're still affecting you, right? So and you your subconscious let us access that. Sometimes I'll guide people to do that. Like one of my clients that I'm seeing later today. When we try and get in and do the subconscious, you know what comes up? This black wall of steel armor. So literally that's the visualization. She's like, Mike, I can't get there. I was like, okay. Cause she it's had like a blockage. Sh- my God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, well, <laughs> we're gonna need a, a little bit bigger uh, tool. <laughs> to get into that and that's when we'll do the MDMA or the psilocybin to get into Okay, that. so when it's like serious cases you would pull up the secrets ingredients yeah. of MDMA or okay. Yeah. Psilocybin. Yeah. And what I would mention too is like for each person it's different, their health conditions, there are and it's not legal in every state or every um, country. Right? So, but you know, when my wife was suffering with depression, I was like, I gotta find a way. I don't care if it's I don't have five years for the government to approve it. So, yeah. Go do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, anyway. And do some clients actually reveal to you the trauma or do most of them just keep it in? Yeah, they usually like, do. Yeah? Yeah, but I, it's not even necessary for me to know. Yeah. I don't need okay. to know the details. And do you feel it's comfortable more, with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's confidential. They, they... Um, you know, certain th- certain things uh, like sexual molestation type things mm. are much more sensitive. Um, but yes, it, you know, it's very safe and it's a really powerful, beautiful experience, and I get to mm. help them heal in a really beautiful way. So it hasn't affected it hasn't affected you in any way during all these past traumas. Not that no. you know of. Yeah, it it doesn't stick to me. Okay. Because yeah. you clearly you 
clearly keep it in a professional manner of detaching yeah. yourself from this. Okay.